Hey guys, uh, first off, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, no obligation. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about uh, Salesforce lead assignment rules and uh, how to do a basic lead assignment rule to assign some leads to some queues. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start by going into our setup menu. Um, sometimes you'll have a setup, depending on what version of Salesforce you're on, you'll see a setup button at the top. Uh, other times you'll see it under your name. So I'm going into the setup menu and under setup, I'm going to use the quick search, uh, to look up assignment and then we'll look at assignment rules under the lead object because we're creating lead assignment rules. Now what assignment rules allow us to do is basically trigger a record to be uh, given ownership based on these rules, right? So we set criteria and we tell the record who should own it uh, based on that criteria. So we don't have any lead assignment rules right now, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to create an assignment rule that looks at a lead and it says, if this lead is in Canada, assign it to the Canada lead queue that we have set up. And if this lead is in the United States, then assign it to the United States lead queue that we have set up. Uh, if you don't already have queues set up um, and you just want to assign it to individual users based on criteria, you can do that too. Uh, but today we're going to talk about queues. If you want to assign it to individual users, it's the exact same process. Just when we assign it to a queue, obviously choose the user you would want to assign it to. So let's get started. So we'll create a new lead assignment rule and we'll just call this basic lead assignment, make sure it's active and save it. If you're not sure uh, about setting it up yet and this is your first time setting up a, an assignment rule, probably best to keep this inactive and until you're sure that uh, you have everything set up properly. All right, so we have our basic lead. All we did was name the assignment rule. Um, and now, now is when we actually start uh, adding rule entries to the assignment rule. So our first rule entry is going to be to make sure that we have uh, the United States leads flowing into the United States lead queue. So we're going to set this to sort order one because this will be the first uh, rule entry that is evaluated when a lead comes in. Um, and the important thing about uh, putting these in the correct order is that if you start getting really complicated with how many rule entry criteria you have and that type of thing, uh, sometimes leads will get assigned, uh, say in sort order from the first rule, when you really wanted them to apply to uh, say the fifth rule, but they already got assigned because they met the criteria. So uh, the basic rule of thumb is if you have a lot of rules for your lead assignment rule, then make sure you put the most granular criteria in the first part of your sort order. Okay, so you want the most granular rule entry criteria to be first and then work your way up to the most broad. Uh, so if I wanted a lead assigned to a particular queue, if it was in the United States in a particular zip code, um, and in a certain city within that zip code or, or something along those lines, that's pretty granular and I would need that to be first. And then my last most general uh, rule entry would be uh, if it's in the United States, assign it to this particular person. Um, so that can get a little complicated, but let, let's just move forward. So uh, basically we're gonna say if the criteria is met, and we're gonna say that our lead country equals United States. So that's gonna make sure, it's gonna check, it's gonna say, hey, is the lead country equal to the United States? Yeah, it is. Okay, so who do we wanna assign it to? Well, like I mentioned, I'm gonna assign it to a queue instead of a user. And I'm going to assign it to the United States lead queue. And you can add an email template if you want to notify uh, people in the queue or the user you select 
um, when a lead is assigned to them. Uh, so for now, I'm not going to notify myself and we're going to click save and new. Because at the same time, I want to go ahead and sort order two, add in the exact same thing except for when a lead is from Canada. So if we check that out, we'll go to our queue and we will assign these to the Canada lead queue, which makes sense, right? So let's save this. And now you can see this is our basic lead assignment rule. So if the lead is equal to the United States, it goes to the United States lead queue. If it equals Canada, it goes to the Canada lead queue. All right, so this is active, so let's go check out a lead. <clears throat> so uh, we have my test lead that I'm using, and you can see that I have the country set to the United States. And to test this right now, you can see that it's in my ownership, but I want it to go to the lead queue, right? So what I'm gonna do is click edit on this lead. And I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and you see this option, assign using active assignment rules. So this is how we can test and see if our rule worked. So we're just gonna save this record. And as you see, we have United States lead queue here. And so if we go ahead and edit this again, well, actually let's update the country to Canada just to make sure that it's working both ways. And you'll notice it hasn't changed yet, but the reason for that is because in the edit screen, we need to check off assign using active assignment rules. And we'll save this. And let's see. So there we are. So it got reassigned to the Canada lead queue. So what I'm gonna do is show you that, I'm gonna delete this lead. Uh, and I'm gonna create a new lead. And I'll, I'll show you that we can do the exact same thing. And we'll just call this test company. All right, so we'll do the exact same thing. We'll come down to country, we'll call it Canada. And we'll need to spell that correctly for it to work. Um, and you need to make sure that the assign using active assignment rules box is checked and we save. And you can see that the Canada lead queue has been assigned. And you can also see in the chatter feed that the lead owner using assignment rules was changed from me to the Canada lead queue. So you can see that the assignment rule is firing, it is working. Uh, so from this, you can see that there are a lot of things you can do with lead assignment rules. And I, I plan to follow this video up with uh, a commonly used uh, lead assignment rule setup, and that's called a round robin assignment. And uh, I'll, I'll follow this up with that video. Um, but if you guys have any questions about lead assignment rules, I know this was a, a really quick overview. Just kind of want to give you guys a walkthrough of this is how you set one up. This is how you quickly create a lead assignment rule um, to kind of get you on your feet and get you moving. And, and now you know where to click around to um, in order to make adjustments and things like that. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, Again, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe if you, if you want to get updates with more videos. Thanks.